Hey Ben, uh, you had a question for me? Okay. Uh, so we're looking at these, uh, what are they called, EP transducers? Yeah, they're transducers. And I noticed there's a three wire terminal on it, so I asked is if there's three wires, does that mean it's a quarter 20 milliamp output from our controllers? All right, and then my quick question, or my quick answer was, well, not necessarily. So all I did was I kind of walked up over here and I kind of looked to see what you know Ben's up to here and I see the covers. First thing I do is I grab this cover and take a look at it. And sure enough, look at it, it's got instructions in there. And if we look really closely here, in the top left corner here, we'll see the first thing I zoomed in on was a one, two, three. As soon as I see one, two, three, I tend to think like a terminal strip or something. And sure enough, that says, uh, 24H, 24G, and uh, IV1. So pretty much I'm guessing terminal one's 24 hot, two is 24 ground, and three is your incoming voltage. And obviously if we look further down, there's a little chart here and uh, there must be some jumper settings so that you can uh, have multiple inputs for four to 20, six to nine volt DC or zero to 10 volt DC. So what are we set for right now, Ben? I'm trying, to, trying to find where those jumpers are at. Looks like it's going to be like a three prong selection. Yeah. See if I can zoom in on here. Okay. With you. We are on C, so we're zero to ten volts DC. Okay, so we you found the the jumper. It's in the corner there. Where is it at? Yeah, right in the corner. All right, sweet. So essentially, I've gotten this question many, many times. Uh, behind the scenes, I get emails from uh, people that come to the website, and they send very detailed technical questions about you know, a Honeywell, or in this case, a TAC transducer, and I'm like, I don't know. I was like, I, I don't see every device that's ever made out there. And there's a lot of devices I get questions about. I was like, I don't even touch those kinds of devices uh, in my everyday work. So, obviously, I'm not a TAC dealer. We uh, actually install Delta Controls. But, you know, you come across all different kinds of stuff. This is pneumatic. And the first thing you do is just, you got to look at the inside. If there's any stickers or labels, uh, God forbid, look at that. There's actually, like, paperwork inside the can. You know, that's perfect. If you can find the paperwork, take a look at it. Um, or if you find model numbers right on there, search Google and pull up the actual, you know, digital copy PDF or whatever. It's really that simple, guys. Uh, it's not too hard to, you know, do a little bit of investigation and find out, you know, what those terminals are on just about anything you come across. So just a quick tip, man. It's just do a little bit of investigation. You'll probably find your answers up. You don't have to email me. Hmm. All right, take care. Sitting here cranking it, cranking. I'm like, that's what I need. And then I let go. It's just going to spring back. Today, the modern type of electrician slash technician of control has, on one side, his pouch with his tools, and on the other one, his computer. Uh, now, this fan, once turned on, actually pulls air in uh, from this direction and then shoots it out the top. And as that air comes across this water, it helps cool it down.